Hello, welcome back to Rick's Kits. Um, we're doing this 172nd Ravel um, Lancaster B Mark 1 stroke Mark 3. Uh, as I mentioned in the end of the last video, basically it's a quite a detailed kit, um, which has surprised me quite a bit. So this is actually one of the engines focus up for me it's quite amazing really Do a bit of detail on it get it in there we go it still needs a little bit of cleaning up but so that would be visible if I that you would see it that way if you want to display it that way, uh, basically with the engine, the inboard engine uh, nose house, you would cut out this area here as indicated in the actual uh, instructions there on 25. So you've got the opportunity of opening up both sides of, of this part just to show the engine off. Um, We have motor mounts, oh, sorry, engine mounts, we call them motors, so that goes, the engine sits on uh, here I think, somewhere. On, on the points there, and then that, it may be up. Out the wrong way, I don't know. I'm not looking at the instructions or anything at this moment in time. I did have it out the wrong way. So, looking at that, yeah, it sits in there like so and then mounts into those nacelles. But that's that's how much, um, what nice detail is going into this kit. Same with the interiors of the. The wheel wells as well down down in here with the ribbon and stuff, which are uh, separate pieces. So there's actually sitting in there. You've got one, two, three, four, five. There's actually six separate pieces just here for that small area. But yeah, that's where that's where we're at the moment. Um, I've still got another. As you can see on on the page, I've still got a fair bit to go. I've only just done this on one side, so I've now got to do all that on the other side and and make a another engine. So and uh, the uh, engine um, ribbon, etc. And then we're going down into uh, putting all the outer outer engine parts to go, and then the uh, sorry, the inboard engine together and then the outboard engines together. So, yeah, and I've got a bit more done. Still waiting on my um, um, what's it called? My decals to arrive for this one and my um, mask for the glazing because I really want to get this uh, glazed and Raised up and painted up, or uh, continue too much further on. Um, we'll find out about um, the particular aircraft I'm going to do. Whether these windows were blacked out, or whether some of them were still uh, viewable through. I find it highly strange that you've got a bomber with so many windows on. Crazy. But yeah, World War Two bombers. Hey, okay, I will catch you later. You know, and welcome back. Right, a uh, bit of progression on this uh, Lancaster bomber. Um, because I am uh, going to do this as one of my photo frame like models. This aircraft is going to be flying. Um, so I am 
basically I am skipping all the engine detail because I don't need them. That's why I've got the one that I built still sitting over here. Right, I don't need it. Um, and I don't need the wheels down. So I'll be skipping all of this stuff. Uh, the Bombay will be closed. So I won't, I'm not going to have open Bombay. So we're literally skipping a load of um, steps and starting from 47 and going through all the glazing and then basically toward, it's towards the end of the of the model um, but I, I'm still waiting for decals and things so I can't really I can probably get into some painting and stuff so what we've got at this moment in time I've got the Bombay closed up got all the engine nacelles I think they're called nacelles or whatever uh, there and the uh, wheel doors are closed up so we've got all that on board um, I think they're straight straight I've got a little bit of tidying up to do um, so yeah that's where we're at still waiting on stuff and I can proceed and put on the uh, tail planes. I don't know why I'm doing this at this in this stage. I really need to probably just glue them, but one fits better than the other. That one's a little bit loose. Yeah, the the basis of the uh, aircraft is is there for what I want it for. Um, so until my um, got my canopy masks, the glazing masks all turn up. This is as far as it goes at this moment in time. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you. To all my old subscribers, you are very much appreciated. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.